Hey, thanks for clicking on my video. I'm so happy you're here and I hope you enjoy. It's November now, which is really crazy. This year just went by so quickly, but that means it's officially the holiday season. Oh my gosh. I was thinking about gifts to buy for other people. And honestly, while I love, love, love giving gifts, I also like struggle to give gifts. I'm like, I know what their hobbies are and their interests are, but it's like, what if I get a gift that's not super aligned to what they actually want? And so I was also thinking about myself and how I feel like other people also kind of struggle the same way. Like they know what I do and what I like, what my interests are. What exactly do you get someone like me who's more nerdy and I really like things like anime, animation and drawing and stuff like that. And it's like, instead of those art kits from Michaels that we love Michaels, Stan, we love Michaels, Joann's, all those places, but like, you know, sometimes you get a little bit too old for those art kits. So what do you get people instead, instead of just buying those and shooting in the dark? So I wanted to make this list for people who are friends, family members, significant others of people who do have interests like that. This list would be perfect for people who, again, are girlies, who love things like anime, anything like that's really adjacent to that, like maybe like K-pop, K-dramas, uh, C-dramas, animation, anime style, anything in that realm of things. That's a very big umbrella, but I feel like the interests kind of segue all to be the same. For this gift guide, I will be leaving as many links in the description as possible. Some of the things I'm gonna be talking about is kind of like a general thing where I don't have a specific item, um, but I will also be including chapters in this video. So if you wanna save this video, reference it again later, maybe you're not buying gifts exactly yet, uh, you'll be able to easily find what I was talking about and then you'll be able to go search that up on your own when you eventually do go buy gifts. And lastly, I wanna give this Big disclaimer, I think during the holidays, it's really important to support small businesses. I think if you have the ability and as much as possible, we should be buying off sites like Etsy to support small businesses. However, I also understand that Etsy is not one, available in every country. And then two, Etsy products can be pretty expensive, especially with things like shipping, uh, where Amazon Prime on the other hand has like free shipping. And also Amazon in general has cheaper prices. And so as a whole, I will be including a mix of both Amazon products, that might be cheaper or things from like you know larger corporations but then also suggesting things that are from small businesses i as a person have grown up experiencing holiday seasons where the holiday spirit was not very strong due to financial reasons so i want to make sure that this list has range and accessibility for all and so that people with different budgets and different price ranges can find something to give to their loved ones or give to someone that they care about um this holiday season so you'll be seeing that variety and on that note let's get into this video so starting off strong the first type of gift that i think every nerdy girl would love is plushies plushies are always something that i think you can never go wrong with unless they already have too many of them but hey who couldn't love some more? Anything from the realm of either Squishmallows, which can be found in many places. You can find them in Costco, you can find them in Target, you can find them on Amazon, you can find them in Walgreens, I think. You can find them in Five Below for a smaller stocking stuffer, which I will be talking about later. Uh, any of those I think would be perfect for any girl who just loves those types of things. There's varieties of all sorts and kinds. Find out their favorite animal. Do they like the ocean? Do they like cats? Do they like dogs? Do they like, I don't know, candy corn? They literally have like candy as squishmallows. It's a perfect gift literally for anyone of all ages. That's the thing I think with plushies that people tend to forget that like, oh, it's only for kids. Nope. A second example would be anime plushies. You can basically find these plushies in any anime store. If you have one nearby at a small business, you can also find these on Etsy. I think some people do like hand sewn like yarn plushies. And then you can also find these on Amazon or official websites of an anime that a person may watch. I think with this one, it takes knowing this person a little bit better. You have to know what they actually watch and consume and then also who's their favorite character. I think this really just comes from a conversation. You can maybe be a little bit sneaky and be like, hey, what have you been watching recently? And it's like, or ask them a question like, oh, have you heard of this series? What's your opinion on it? And kind of use that as a lead in so that, uh, so you can figure out if they actually like a specific character. You can also never go wrong with things like Sanrio. You're gonna hear Sanrio stuff a lot today. They have a lot of Sanrio plushies. Again, on Amazon, you can find them in anime stores. Um, 
And I think most girlies are fans of Sanrio or have been at least one point in their life. I guess you have to then ask what's your favorite Sanrio character. I don't know, maybe send them a BuzzFeed quiz. What Sanrio character are you? Be a little sneaky about it, but plushies, you can never go wrong. The second category is stocking stuffers or I guess cheaper and smaller gift ideas that you can have as a side gift to whatever your main gift is. The first thing is anything from Daiso. If you don't have a Daiso near you, this is kind of an unfortunate thing um, that you might not be able to do, especially because Daiso isn't really something that you can buy from online as far as I know. Um, but Daiso has tons of things there. They have washi tape, they have pens, they have highlighters that are really nice. They have really cute like hair clips and scrunchies and anything of the sort. They also have things like Japanese snacks, which I will actually be talking about more later. But if you want to get like a cheaper just Japanese snack, they have Pocky, they have um, Pacao. I think that's how you say it, Pacao. They have Rumine. I think it's also how you say that. I'm probably butchering some of these names you're going to hear today, y'all. I'm so sorry. They also have Haichu there, just perfect for getting cheaper, smaller gifts. The nicest thing is that most of their products are $1.50, unfortunately, due to inflation and stuff like that. I think that a lot of their products have gone up in cost, but you would be hard pressed to find anything that's over five American dollars. So it's a pretty good idea for smaller things and stocking stuffers. And actually they do sell plushies there as well. So that kind of goes into the first one. Those would probably be over $5 if they were a little bit bigger ones. Um, but the smaller ones, you should be pretty safe staying under the $5 range. Second thing under stocking stuffers is skincare products. Bonus points if it's K-beauty. I feel like most of the girlies within this realm of interest love K-beauty products. For me personally, I've only recently been starting to get into skincare, so I'm not super familiar with K-beauty products. Uh, I just asked my friend actually what K-beauty products they like. Uh, I'll try to insert a list here. Some of the ones I'm thinking of from the top of my head are... Um, Belief, she really likes Belief. And then also um, Innisfree. Belief is a lot more expensive, but they do have smaller products, again, that you can put into a stocking, which will be perfect if that's something that's in your price range. Uh, and Innisfree is something that's a little bit more affordable, but still might be expensive for some. For something that's really affordable, it should be affordable for most people, hopefully, are these Korean uh, face masks that you can buy on Amazon in bulk. This is perfect just for honestly just spreading these out into multiple occasions for multiple people i like to bulk buy gifts i will buy like sets of things and then i will split it up between people if i know that i'm gonna have to buy for multiple people coming soon this is especially great if you have multiple friends you're buying for or if you're a parent and you have multiple children or if you're a sibling and you have multiple siblings this is something that would be perfect okay you can find these at stores like sephora ulta beauty doesn't have too many k beauty products but they do have other skincare products that you can buy like at the um register like the smaller um trial products that you can throw in there and kind of sticking to that makeup realm of things too if you go into ulta beauty they do sell ColourPop, and even if you go on the ColourPop website they do have collaborations with some brands that might be uh, of interest to whoever you're buying gifts for. They have things that are like Disney. They do, I'm not sure if they have anime collaborations just yet, they might. I know they had a Harry Potter collaboration, etc. So that also might be something that you wanna explore. It's not skincare, but of course it's makeup and I kind of put the two you know, in the same category. And for those who don't have a Daiso near them, you can try Barnes & Noble. There's also a Barnes & Noble website, of course. They have stocking stuffers as well. They have like tiny pocket um, games that you can buy. They also have like little mystery, um, I don't think they're like plushies, but I think they're like figurines and they do have them for anime. I've seen them in the stores before. Uh, they also have keychains and they also have Tamagotchi, which has been coming back. And I think it would be a really cute buy for someone of these interests for this year. I think it would be absolutely perfect. And of course, Barnes & Noble does carry these. I think they're a little bit pricey though. So unfortunately they're not super affordable. Um, but if that's something that you think this person would like and you can afford it, that would be, I think, a perfect gift. And then lastly, for two things are stickers and keychains in the stocking stuffer category. Stickers you can easily buy big sets for on Amazon. I am a little wary about those because 
unfortunately a lot of the times you will find these have stolen art in them someone just found an image online it might be fan art that someone made and then they just turned it into a giant multi-pack of stickers of like 200 on amazon i included some examples in the description that i found didn't have that it didn't seem like it had stolen art in it. Um, I think the ones I'm including have like Sanrio, which I think is pretty easy to just find like, you know, the actual official photos and make, you know, stickers from them. Um, if you do want to support small businesses, this is a big one that you can really help them with. Uh, you can find stickers on Redbubble and you can find stickers a lot on Etsy. If you go to any like craft fair or like festival or anywhere where you have like small business vendors in your hometown or city, you will probably find vendors that are selling stickers that are either of like this more nerdy interest or just things that are like cute and for lack of a better word, like kawaii. So it's just like, you would be able to find something there as well. So many options for stickers. And then for keychains, you can also probably find them in the same places that I said. I also listed some keychains in the description that are also Sanrio um, from Amazon. The next category of gifts are Japanese snacks. Japanese snacks are just something that you can never go wrong with, in my opinion, unless the person you're buying for has like a ton of allergens, maybe, maybe not, especially sometimes because these like, um, food labels are in Japanese. And so it's like, oh, you might not know exactly what you're buying. But if that's not the case for you, there is a wide variety of Japanese snacks from least expensive to most expensive that you could buy for a person. I personally think this would be great gifts, starting with the cheapest. Like I said, looking at Daiso, they have tons of different options for different snacks. You can also now go to like Safeway or Vons or uh, Aldi's or whatever the store is called, wherever you live. Um, and if you go down the Asian food aisle, you might be able to find things like Pocky. And so that would be a much cheaper option as well. In terms of more of a mid-range idea, I did find these Japanese snack crates on Amazon and they do have a variety of price ranges. Uh, these are some ones that I found that had some decent reviews. Disclaimer, I have not purchased from these, so I have no idea what the food quality is or anything like that read the reviews, buy at your own risk, but they should be okay. And of course, these Japanese snack crates are, I would say, inspired by the big ones, which are what you're going to get with that highest price range. And these are from Boxu, Japan Crate, and also Tokyo Treat. Uh, you probably have seen Boxu ads a lot if you consume that type of stuff on YouTube. Um, but I will in fact, um, endorse these boxes. I know again, you see something that's like advertised by YouTubers and content creators a lot. You're like, Oh, is it actually good? Why is it being advertised so, so much? Um, but for me personally, like I have purchased from these before and they're pretty good. Of course, it's like usually mystery boxes. You can purchase the individual boxes and you probably want to buy these ahead of time if you're going to do them, but they usually give you a really good variety and they're snacks you're not really going to find in like a grocery store or even a Daiso. So I think that they're honestly perfect if you want to, even if you want to do it with them, just try a bunch of Japanese snacks for fun. Again, I have bought these before with friends and it's really fun to just like try random snacks because you don't know what you're trying or what it's gonna taste like or if it's gonna be good. So I personally do endorse these. This is not sponsored by the way. Um, and I think that that's a more higher end option. I also forgot to mention this before, um, but you can also purchase from Wii, like Wii with a bunch of E's. And I think there's like an explanation point at the end. Uh, they also have lots of Asian snacks from a multitude of cultures around the world. Um, and also any Asian grocery store you can go into and they would have snacks as well. If that's something that is accessible to you, just if you're not, you know, used to going in those spaces and you're not Asian. Uh, just don't be rude. That's all I have to say. I don't know. And to end it off, to give some like individual snack ideas to buy for this category, there's Rumine, there's Japanese Kit Kats, there's, why did I say that like that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's Pocky, there's Haichu, and there's also Pacao or Pachao. I'm not sure how to say that, but yeah, those are some ideas of what I would recommend buying. Next is anime figurines. This you're gonna have to do some investigating. Like I said earlier with the um, buying plushies of specific animes, you would have to know for a fact what this person's favorite anime is their favorite character is. And also if they even like collecting figurines, for me personally, I'm not a 
huge fan of collecting figurines, mostly because they are very expensive. Some figurines can be very, very, very pricey. And I'm just saying that now, if you are on a budget, probably not going to be the item to buy because yeah, some of these can get to even over a hundred dollars. So pretty expensive. Again, you would have to investigate, maybe figure out who their favorite character is, really know who their favorite character is because like you don't want to be buying this and then they don't even like the character. Like that's a lot of money to be spending. Um, but I definitely do think it's a really cute idea. There's also smaller figurines that are more like Funko Pops. They're not exactly Funko Pops. I can't think of their name, um, but you can find them on the, I think, Crunchyroll store or the Funimation store. Uh, and those are cheaper, um, but you really have to know this person again. Like, do they even like collecting figurines? And then like, if they do like collecting figurines, what type of figurines do they have? So. This one's a little bit more of, I think, a personal gift. And I do think though, if you buy the right thing in terms of this, this person would love you to death. Like this is a perfect, perfect gift for people who love collecting figurines like this. Um, but you do have to do a little bit of investigating and good luck if you do end up buying figurines. Let me know how that goes and if, how, if they like it and if you're successful. And then also while they're not anime figurines and I personally am not a girly who gets the hype of these, I think they're cute, but like it's, I, I think I missed a chapter is Sunny Angels. Um, Sunny Angels are really big now. They've been very big recently, but this one's definitely also, you have to know this person, like the girls who get it. They're the ones who get it. I'm not a girl who gets it. I think they're cute, but you really have to know this person. I think an easy way for this is just to ask that person like, hey, have you heard of these sunny angels before? Like, what are they? Like, do you know what the hype is? And just judging by their reaction, you should know if this is something that they would love or not. People who want this, they will love you to the end of the earth if you bought this for them. Next, we have, of course, some literature, manga, or light novels. Uh, again, this is another more personal gift. You would really have to know what series they consume and read. Um, literally ask them. You can ask them for recommendations. You could say, hey, I'm starting to watch some uh, anime, starting to read manga, like what do you recommend? And it, based on that suggestion, you could get them a product or item that, you know, fits within that. I think that for manga, it's interesting because you also have to know what they own already. Um, for me, I bought like gifts for my little brother who loves manga. And luckily he proudly displays all of his manga on a shelf in his um, by his desk. So I was able to know like, okay, he doesn't have this, he doesn't have that. I can just buy like what's next in the series for him. And it was kind of perfect. Um, I've also broken into people's rooms before just to see, but only do that if you're like super close to a person and it's with good intention. But yes, I have done that because I was like, I want to get them a manga volume. I want to get them a light novel volume, but I have no idea what they already own. And yeah, so I didn't want to double buy, of course. And also to buy these, look on Barnes and Noble and also Amazon. I'm pretty sure Viz Media also sells manga volumes. Um, but those are the big three, especially Barnes and Noble. I think Barnes and Noble is definitely like, the major seller when it comes to selling manga and light novels. So the next is tote bags. I love tote bags. I have too many tote bags. I know a lot of the girlies nowadays are getting into tote bags. So this would genuinely be like an almost perfect gift. Anything again, that's more of this kawaii style. Uh, maybe it's like cute cats, animals, whatever on a tote bag. Maybe it's like Studio Ghibli, Studio Ghibli. I, I y'all already saw my previous video before this. Like I, <laughs> I don't know which one it is. And I just say both interchangeably. It's like GIF and JIF. It's terrible. But just anything of that realm in terms of tote bags would be literally perfect for them. Uh, Barnes and Noble actually sells a lot of Studio Ghibli stuff. Amazon is really perfect for this. However, I feel like the best site to buy tote bags is actually Etsy. Etsy has some of the cutest, cutest tote bags ever. Every year on my wish list, I am putting tote bags from Etsy on my, um, you know, Christmas wish list because like they're just so cute and so unique, and they're all from small sellers with their own personal designs, and it's like just chef's kiss. So look on Etsy. Um, again, a girlie's favorite animal, favorite show, favorite anime, like 
Japanese snacks on the back, just anything would be perfect for the nerdy girly in your life. Second to last category is art prints. Art prints are definitely a, you have to know what you're doing with them because again, there is unfortunately a lot of cases of stolen art out there and you wanna make sure you're buying them from sources where people are actually authentically selling their own artwork. And you can really go two directions with what exactly you wanna buy for these art prints. You really do have to know them well for either of these options, by the way, for these two routes that you can take. The first are actual posters or prints from an official like anime or animation or show or whatever they watch. These can basically just be, you know, a poster of just imagine like, for example, Attack on Titan and it's literally like an official Attack on Titan poster. Um, and then also you can find people who've made fan art of these series as well and just it's not really hard to miss if you know they really like that series like it's it will be instantly a hit with this person a place i think that's really good for buying these is redbubble redbubble sells again a variety of both official art and then also um small business creators art um and of course etsy is another one that you can find this on as well and of course amazon with redbubble they also sell tapestries which is really cool um i personally really like tapestries i think they are in many cases easier to hang than um, than posters if because posters, of course, you can accidentally damage if you don't, you know, have the proper tools to, you know, hang it on the wall. Tapestries are a better suggestion sometimes, but it really depends on the amount of space they have. And honestly, tapestries are a huge commitment because it's like basically going to take up most of their wall and you're, you know, are you going to be redesigning this person's room? I don't know. Did they just move? Maybe they need it. You kind of have to figure that out on your own. Again, you really have to know this person. And then second is art that is not from a specific anime or manga or show, but it is anime inspired or anime style original artwork. I personally love this way more than buying official art only because I feel like it makes my space look so much more unique. Um, I buy from small businesses very often. And if I think their art is just beautiful, I'm gonna buy it and it's gonna go on my wall. You can find also this stuff on Redbubble. You can find this on Etsy. And another place that people really don't know about is Imprint. Imprint I kind of discovered recently due to some artists I follow selling their art on there. And I think it's a perfect place to just browse. And if you see any really pretty, again, just animation inspired, anime inspired pieces of art, I think it would be perfect for this person's wall this person's room, this person's space. The big thing you have to know with this is, first of all, what's their color scheme? What's their style? What's their interest? What's their like, you know, aesthetic of the person that you're buying for? Because of course that definition I gave of like anime inspired artwork, that's a really big umbrella. So you really have to know this person, but if you know what their style is like, aesthetics like, this could be a perfect gift option for them. And lastly, this is for the people who genuinely, after all of this, still have no idea what to get. They have no way of figuring out what manga volumes they buy. You have no way of knowing what their aesthetic is. You have no way of knowing just any more information about them. And it's just, you don't know them that well. Gift cards. Gift cards are gonna be your go-to. However, however, two specific places would make this person incredibly happy. The first would be a Visa or MasterCard gift card with a uh, custom envelope, which I, you can find these online. You can either buy a template on Etsy or you can um, even find some, maybe somewhere free on the internet. Um, but if it said the word Webtoons on it, now I looked before because I thought this would be a perfect gift and Webtoons, if you're watching this, I doubt it, but if you somehow were watching this, Y'all need to have gift cards. Not only is it the perfect gift, but it also would just make, it's just so practical. For people who don't know what Webtoons is, it's basically a platform for carrying smaller web comics that are created by smaller artists. And Webtoon is basically this website that houses all of these web comics. And basically for a lot of them, especially the ones that I forgot what they're called, like uh, not featured or something. I forgot what it's called. Um, you have to spend coins to buy some of the future episodes or buy the episodes when they come out. Or if a series is finished, you can only read like three chapters a day. And so it can be a little bit inconvenient for someone who doesn't have coins or doesn't have the money for coins. So. Instead, just 
buy them a Visa gift card. And if you know they're a lover of web comics and webtoons, and then framing it as a uh, gift card so you can spend your coins on, that I think would be a perfect gift. Next would be the Nintendo Switch Store. There's so many different gaming options, of course, different upgrades, DLCs that you can purchase through the Nintendo Switch Store. Um, you can even buy them a, um, I cannot think of the word, like the online membership that you have to have to basically like do anything on Nintendo Switches. I think that would be perfect. My family got me that as a graduation gift. They got me a year long family subscription as well as an actual Nintendo Switch too. I'm so happy with that. I'm so happy about that. But yes, uh, I think that'd be a perfect gift for someone that you know has a Nintendo Switch and you know would have some good use for this gift card. Next is the Google Play Store, the App Store. This is perfect for a girlie who loves playing like those Atome app games or any just pocket games. You know, the girlies who play Genshin Impact, the girlies who play any other pocket anime style game games on the apps, the people who want to play the Hello Kitty game that's kind of similar to Animal Crossing that I cannot play because I don't have an iPhone. Um, this is for them. So they can spend all their money inside of the game. They can spend all their money buying the game, etc. This would be a perfect, perfect option for them. Next, we have a Barnes and Noble gift card. Like I said, if you genuinely have no way, no way of knowing what manga this person actually owns, maybe they own a ton, a ton of manga, but you just have no way of knowing what exactly those ones are, Barnes and Noble gift cards would be absolutely perfect because you know it would go to good use and you know they would spend it like instantly. I'm always very, very, very pleased whenever I receive a Barnes and Noble gift card. So I know that anyone else who got this gift card and is a avid manga light novel, just book collector, would 100% appreciate it. And they also have some Barnes and Noble gift cards that are like actually like, um, anime uh like cards you know how you can get different cards that say like thank you or happy teacher or whatever right happy teacher that's such i don't know what i was saying there uh i've seen once i think with demon slayer before on it and also maybe not attack on titan was it like dragon ball z uh, I think I've also seen one that was either Heaven Official's Blessing or Moda Zushi. I forgot which one it was. But yeah, literally would be a perfect gift card to give. Again, any person who loves reading or just loves, you know, manga or anything like that would be so happy to receive this as a gift. And then lastly is a year subscription gift card. These I think are the most underrated gift cards ever. Literally subscription services are so expensive nowadays. And if you just got them either again, a Visa gift card, if the subscription service doesn't have gift cards, but if you find one, I've gotten a Disney plus one before, um, just a year long subscription, they would be a happy camper or just buy it for them. If they don't have a gift card, like literally just subscribe for them, like with a login, like maybe with their email or your email or something. And then like, you know, pay for it. And then on the day of like, you know, tell them that, Hey, you have a year long subscription to this now uh, that also works. So I think those would all be amazing options for gift cards. If you may not know exactly what this person wants, or you have no way of really investigating into what this person wants, or of course, if it's not really accessible to purchase whatever this person really wants. And with that, that is the end of this video. I really, really hope that this helps someone out this holiday season. Um, I'm making this in 2023, but I think this is a pretty lifeless video that just going forward in the future, like these gifts will just be perfect for again, the nerdy girly in your life. I hope that this makes the gift buying experience a little bit less stressful. If you do end up buying gifts for someone, let me know how it goes in the comments. I wanna hear some success stories. I wanna know if my suggestions went to good use. And of course, if you're buying this for someone and they're not watching this video, tell them about my channel. Maybe they would enjoy the gift of getting to watch me for the rest of this year and coming in 2024 and beyond. But again, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to save this video, reference this video back for whenever you do need to buy stuff and i hope that these suggestions were great and if anyone else has any suggestions or sources for buying some of the things that i mentioned please comment those things down below and of course i will see y'all in the next video again i hope this really helps you this holiday season happy purchasing and i hope whoever is receiving this gift enjoys it bye y'all